A new performance update to text generation web UI, Ubabuga, has made it possible to run models with less VRAM, run faster, and increase the number of tokens you can use while using offline Llama models. Welcome back to AI Explorers, and today we're going to cover a huge new update on Ubabuga that is going to be amazing for all of us who don't have fancy RTX graphics cards with more than 10 gigs of VRAM. We're going to be running some models off my laptop with 8 gigs of VRAM and it's going to be amazing. On top of that, these improvements will allow you to run bigger models such as 13 billion or even 30 billion parameter models on machine with higher VRAM capabilities like 24 gigs of VRAM. So let's get started. And don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated for new videos and updates. It really helps us out. So to get access to this new fangled sorcery, all you need to do is go to your Ubabuga folder. If you don't have one or you don't know what this is, check out my last video, link up here. So once we're in that folder, all you're going to do is go to update windows.bat, double click it and an installer will come up updating your Ubabuga. That's it. If you get any errors, just let it go through. I had some and I was still able to run it without a problem. Once your update is finished, all you need to do is start your Ubabuga. Now, for the purposes of this video, I've downloaded this Wizard LM uncensored GPTQ model. It's a 7 billion model because we're running it on a 8 VRAM GPU laptop. And so I'm going to show you how even with a tiny laptop, we're able to comfortably run this model. So once we've got our Ubabuga up and running, let's head on over to the URL. And once we're in the Ubabuga UI, we're going to head up here to model. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and download this model. So you just click here on the copy link and you can toss it in here and download it. And Ubabuga will start downloading it automatically. I've already got it downloaded, so I'm not going to do it again. Just remember that once you just remember that once you have downloaded it, you need to restart your Ubabuga. So just head on over close this and relaunch it and you'll find your model up here. So I've got it here, the bloke wizard 7B uncensored and it will automatically try and load it into auto GPTQ. We're going to click here on model loader and change it to Xlama HF. And these are the two new features in Ubabuga that have come out. Xlama is what allows you to run these models using less VRAM and Xlama HF is the same thing, but more optimized. You would run Xlama if you've got a bit more VRAM and you're just looking for speed, whereas HF is designed more for systems with lower VRAM, like ours. So we're gonna try that one. And we can see here, huh, the model was loaded in 17.92 seconds. Uh, amazing for a device with such little VRAM. And you can see here that it, it is using up uh, in fact, yeah, it is using up almost the entirety of the dedicated GPU usage, which is six out of the eight, which is shared. And if we jump on over here into text generation, we can start to chat with the device. It, it is a little slow. After all, this is a six to eight VRAM uh, machine, but we're able to comfortably chat. So we can see here, I tried to ask ChatGPT to you know, tell me how to do this and it wouldn't let me. But if we hop on over to our offline model, let's see what it says. So as you can see here, not only are we able to get information that ChatGPT is not willing to give us, but it's working offline in a relatively quick way on a 7 billion model. Although, like I've said before, there are going to be some massive limitations trying to run an AI model on a device with six to eight gigabytes of VRAM. You're not going to get the fluid conversation flow and quality of information that you would get from bigger models and on devices with bigger VRAM, but it's enough to mess around with, to use offline, to not have ChatGPT know what you're asking. And as you can see here, from what I can see, the information seems pretty accurate based on what I know regarding the topic at hand. So it's good enough for a variety of different uses. Now, if you're fortunate enough to own a now, if you're fortunate enough to own a GPU with 24 gigs of VRAM or 
if you've got a dual GPU system, you can start to mess around with some of these bigger models, these 30 billion models, which are going to have a much bigger basis of information for you to play around with, much closer to what you would get with uh, ChatGPT. However, unlike ChatGPT, as we've discussed in my previous video, which runs off of a multi-trillion parameter system, or runs off a multi-trillion multi parameter model, these models are going to be a little bit more specific, and you'll find some in here that are more suited towards chatting, some that are more suited towards programming, and so on and so forth. The other big update that comes out today is the ability to use up to 8,000 tokens when chatting with a model via Ubabuga. What does that even mean? Well, tokens are the method by which GPT-based models use to measure and manage the amount of content going back and forth between the user and the AI. Meaning that, to put it simply, tokens are how much an AI can remember within the context of a conversation. So if you keep giving an AI a lot of information through a chat, that's going to eat up your tokens. And when you run out of tokens, the AI will start forgetting what you have told it previously. And the same thing applies to posting big chunks of text. So if you post a large article, so here, let's just grab an article from the BBC. Let's talk about this new Korean law. And if we drop this article here in this lovely platform that OpenAI has provided called Tokenizer, we can see here that about 1,900 characters uses about 434 tokens. Now, if we had a limit of, let's say, 200 tokens on our AI model, it wouldn't be able to remember the entirety of that conversation and give us back context related to it. All right, let's try a longer article like this one from IGN. So if we were to try and give this to our AI model, this would eat up 1,400 tokens. Now under the current system, if we check here, our current model is actually running off of 2048 characters. So if you check the current model, we can see here that it is currently running off of a maximum sequence length of 2048. This is the number of tokens that our model can retain at the moment. Under the new update, we can start to boost that, theoretically up to 16, but from what I'm aware, the current model only goes up to 8. However, keep in mind that that will use more VRAM. So for those of us with, once again, lower VRAM computers, we're going to be a little bit more limited. But let's try and see if we can't push this up to 3000. And let's see what that gives us. So once you've made some tweaks and changes here, we can try and reload that. And we were successfully able to reload the model in 3.55 seconds. And we can see here that we're still running pretty close to that six gigabyte marker. I think we're almost running at five, five something. So this gives us the benefit now of giving our AI model a little bit more memory to give us context with. Now, before I forget, I did forget one thing. I made a mistake. when increasing your maximum sequence length, you also need to update your compressed POS ENB. And the way you do this is you need to divide whatever your max sequence length is by 2048. So let's pull up here our calculator and let's grab 3072 divided by 2048 and that gives us 1.5. And let's reload. So once again, loaded extremely fast and that should give us the desired result. And finally, we need to head on over to parameters and also adjust the truncate prompt to this length. And this should equal the amount that we put, and this should equal the amount that we put in the max sequence length, in this case, 3072. And what that will do is that will just make sure that your prompts if you post them long enough, they won't get cut off at 2048 tokens. They'll get cut off at the maximum that you put. However, just remember that you do need to leave some tokens for the AI to respond to you and remember the context. So if you post something that eats up all 3072 tokens, 
you are going to have your AI start forgetting this pretty quickly. So I would personally leave a little bit of a gap.